risk society is uh, an idea about modern society that was developed in 1986 originally by the German sociologist Ulrich Beck, who's written a lot more on it since then. His first book on this was published in English in 1992. And essentially what he was arguing was that modern society as we now know it, late 20th century society perhaps, is actually being increasingly structured around and affected by new qualities of risk which haven't existed before in history really. So for example, um, risks which he said uh, can't be easily identified even without the use of science are essentially not just invisible but undetectable except by science. Climate change would be a good example of this. We wouldn't know that climate change was existing just by using our ordinary everyday senses. It requires a lot of sophisticated technical stuff and technical knowledge in order to work out mm, the climate is actually changing and perhaps human beings are responsible for it. Another quality that he outlined was actually that risks are essentially universal. They stretch and spread everywhere. You can't escape for them, from them rather. So in other words, for example, the rich can't buy their way out of them, as they used to do with the pollution around, say, the mills in Lancashire. The rich people went and lived in Windermere, in the Lake District, or up the hill. And the valleys were the valleys that, that had all the smog and the smoke from the mills. So the rich could buy their way out of those risks. And Beck's argument is you can't do that anymore. You can't escape the radioactivity which stretches globally from nuclear technology, say. Risk isn't any longer discriminated by social class or social wealth or anything of that kind. Um, and uh, other qualities, they're essentially irreversible. When we grow GM crops, we don't know quite what the um, environmental or health risks might be. They might be very indirect, they might be long-term. If they do occur, they're going to be irreversible. We can't just call all the GM crops back in and say, hey, come on, you are more dangerous than we thought, so you better all come in, we'd better contain you again. Once they're out, they're out. And so this is, in his view, is a new quality as well. Several properties of that kind where he basically said, these are qualitative new, we don't know how to deal with these. And another interesting and important element of his theory was that as part of the risk society thesis was that actually with these kinds of risks ignorance including scientific ignorance the unknowns about them are more significant than what we know so this gives a new, whole new dimension to the question of institutional trust for example or public trust in institutions which is supposed to be handling those risks and taking responsibility for them, which I guess gets us towards the whole issue about green crime, environmental crime, or if you like, risk crimes as well.